there's a vent driven by fire sailing this thing. I just got the front sail up, a little bit too much wind, and look at the heel as I go around and catch some more wind. I'm a bit worried, because I haven't really prepped it that well for sailing. I'm a bit close to these boats, so I want to get a little bit more down this way, clear those boats a bit. And then, um, but you know, it's all frightening because you know, you don't know what the rig's like, you don't know what the sails are like. Sails look real good, the main's good, front sail's good, but more, more my concern is around the rigging, the stays. But I just had it leaning right over and I had a really good strain on it, so you can see the curve I just made in the water. So, I mean, actually, nerves aside, so far good, but there was really a good. A good um, breeze come through just about a couple of minutes ago and it comes through this little valley here I know this area well so I know that well and um, yeah it really really sort of took me by surprise but um you know cause I just got that front sail up let's have a look at the front sail yeah yeah they said they, that's in good condition but you can see you know I wasn't really prepped for healing right over because it's not that much wind today but look at that we're getting along uh, I haven't got the log on but one two three four five now five seconds to cover that distance that thing is 2.5 meters there's probably three of that that's probably seven so I'm probably doing two meters per second already which I believe calculates out the four knots doesn't it I should have a chart you know um to, so already that's actually quite a good turn of speed, which is good. But yeah, it kind of freaked me out a little bit when um, when it started to heal over like that because I was like, shit, I'm really not prepared. But there you go, that's sailing for you, and that you've got to be prepared even when you think you don't need to be prepared. You just need to be prepared. Um, and I didn't have this sorted out. That's still not really how I want it. It seems to come in over top, over top of there. So I need to rectify that. I'll do that in a minute and make sure the other one's the same. But yeah, I mean, the motor started great and it powers along. No problem at all. I'm not the biggest fan of motoring, so I don't really care. I mean, it's nice. I can already tell, you know, this boat goes great, but I can already tell it's really just not my cup of tea for sailing. And it makes me think I might be making a mistake selling that little blue one in the Bay Islands because that really is my cup of tea. I just like how it sails, I like how small it is, I like how hassle free it is with the outboard. With picking up speed now, I kind of hope this might happen while you're with me, so you can just see a little bit of the power of it. Yeah, it usually comes in about here, and I've got a massive front sail, I've got full sails up, and that wind's probably pushing, you know, it's probably doing 10 knots already, but when those gusts come along, it's probably pushing 15, maybe 20. So here, let's just see, no, it won't be 20. But see here, you can see the wind coming across the water. Here we go, here's our heel, picking up. Interesting to see how that transfers to our speed. I'm on a better angle now, I'm not so worried about those boats, so I don't really have too much concern. Already, also, what's fallen over in the cabin will have already fallen over, so what the hell, let it rip. Um, and it's only going to be like this, I know this area so well, what happens is you come through here and you're like, oh wow, maybe I've got too much sail. And then if you do anything to rectify, oh here we go, here's the heel again, kicking in. Oh, you can feel it transferring to the speed of the boat. It's getting along quite nicely actually. Uh, hold on, one, two, three, four. So we're doing 2.5 meters per second. Here's our heel. I'll point a little bit more into it. Oh, here's the wind going to hit us now. Look at that, away she goes. Yahoo Magoo, and it feels quite steady. Feels quite steady, you know, like it's not skitty. I wonder if it might be with the bilge keels. Here, the wind's gonna hit us again a bit harder. A bit harder, about five seconds. One, two, three, oh, here we go now. Yeah, look at that. I'm fighting that, I'm really fighting that. Jesus creepers, one wonders. Jeez, I hope that rig's bloody tight. I hope those stays are good. I hope I don't lose the mast is my main concern. That'd give you the bloody heebies, wouldn't it? Here's a bit of a squall with some bloody rain as well. Oh, crikey malikey. I wish I had a log now. 
see how fast we're going now and then it's going to get stronger again but you know i mean this boat apparently has been to fiji so a bit of bloody 15 knots down mangawai at maharangi harbour it should stand up to it really if everything's good and it seems to be i think those stays i mean that's a good test It'll be nice to test the other side on the way back, but you know you don't really want it healing. Fur you don't really want it healing much further than that. Much further than that, you really should be reefing. But if it's sustained, I mean, if just like this is a little, there's a little bit. I should keep an eye on it. A little bit. Then um, I mean, who cares? You're not in a reef. It's uh, you know, it's pretty pointless reefing for that. Um. Like, unless you've got someone tender on board that's going to have a heart attack or something, then you always bloody reef. But, um, let's see, what's it doing now? This is actually a bit of a kick. I'm enjoying this more than I thought I would. Sort of thought, oh, yeah, it's kind of a bit of a chore, but it's, um, but it's no chore at all. I could do this all day. And, and that, I guess that's the great thing about a boat like this. You can do it all day. This is a boat that's made to go places. You have the little boats I take you around with. Some people do go places. But most people really they're just designed for mucking around and, and, and shorter trips. But this thing, this thing is designed to go a long way. And it's nice for it to be out here doing it, you know. Here comes another breeze. I think I'll sit I'll I'll I'll, I'll stay with you until after this big gusty thing comes through and then we'll part ways. And I better concentrate my sail in and out. That's all I'm doing today. Happy to be here. Here's the wind. It's gonna get strong. Can you see the ruffles on the water? But it'll hit us and Five, four, three, two, one. Now the wind's from that direction. Here we go. We have to get a better position. There we go. Oh shit, we're right over there. Look at that. Right over. I think the gun will just about be in the water. <coughs> oh, uh, here we go. Holy smokers, pokers. Here we go. Oh my lord, I'm hold I'm really having to hold on to the tiller. Really having to fight it. It wants to round up something terrible. So I'm really, really fighting it. And I don't even think I can pull it hard enough to go straight. Which sucks a bit, actually. But I guess that means I've got the sails not balanced well. If I could get around, but here's the wind going to get even stronger. It's hard because I can't, my feet aren't long enough to go the other side of the cockpit. So I, um, I really have to stretch out. Here we go, here's the wind. I could let the main sheet go if I needed to. Oh, it's going to have a weak blow and then it's off again. Just through this valley, I think. Stay with you for a minute longer. Oh, God, it's a bit thrilling. It's a bit fun on a Monday or whatever the hell day it is. I think it's a Tuesday, actually. Oh, there's that boat that's been sitting there for a while. It looks like a bit down on the nose. Easterly 30. I think somebody's ditched it. Poor boat. Well, is that the end of the squall? Jeez, I'm making good time. Let's see. One, two, three seconds now. So we're doing three, two meter. Oh, so in three seconds, oh, I'm, I, I, gotta, I gotta calculate that. So in three seconds, we're doing 10 meters, basically. 3.3 meters per second. I'll calculate that out. Um, that's quite fast. So the boat goes quite well, and it's good because the bun's not completely clean either. So we'll go out there, I'll probably go out near Saddle Island. It's been a while since I've been at Mahari, it's quite nice. I'll tack round and then go back. I'm, I'm impressed with how well it's sailing so far. This is nothing to be sneezed at. I would say we're getting a lot of five knots, no problem at all. And it feels like I could do it all day. I could go to Waiheke like this. If I was a freer man, I bloody well would. Also, I need more food. Right, time to go. Hey, have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.